maturity value based on simple interest. It is the amount of money that is due to be paid to a lender at the end of a loan period. If MV is the maturity value of a loan, then it is equal to, which is also, which is equal to P times the quantity 1 plus R times T. Okay, so let us show why it came to be that way. So, MV is equal to P plus I, but I is equal to P times R times T. And so we factor out a common factor, and so we are left with 1 plus R times T. Computing the maturity value of a loan based on simple interest. Hans Pa borrowed 35,000 pesos from a bank at a simple interest to be paid in two years. The interest was found to be 6,650 pesos. What is the maturity value of the loan? So the maturity value of the loan is just the principal plus the interest. And the principal was 35,000 pesos. The interest that is paid to the loan is 6,650 pesos. So the maturity value of the loan is 41,650 pesos. Finding the rate of interest based on simple interest. A student acquired a laptop computer that had a price tag of 29,000 500 pesos through a one-year simple interest loan. After a year, the maturity value of the loan is 32,155. So what is the interest and what is the rate of interest of the loan? So what is the interest? Again, coming from the maturity value. So let us first lay down what's given. The principal loan is 29,500. The maturity value is 32,155. But we know that the maturity value is equal to the principal plus interest. So if we are concerned with interest, interest is just maturity value of the loan minus the loan. And so that's just 32,155 minus 29,500, so interest is 2,655. What is the rate of interest of the loan? Again, let us lay down what's given. The principal is 29,500, the interest is 2,655, and the loan period is one year. So how do we compute for the interest? It's equal to the principal loan times R times T. So solving for R, R is equal to I divided by P times T. So the interest rate is 2,655 divided by 29,500, which is equal to 0 0.09 or 9%.